Hey guys, how's it going? Self Electrica here. In the video I have for you today, I'm going to be going over how a key works. And what I'm going to do is just try to explain some of the aspects of the key so you can have a better understanding. So the first thing you're going to take a look at is on the key, you're going to see these up and down areas, which are going to be called the key bidding. Sometimes people refer them to the teeth of the key, but the correct term is the key bidding. So what's going to happen on the key is you're going to have distinct areas which are going to be raised higher than other areas. What's going to happen is the raised area on the key matched up with the length of the key pen which is going to sit above it is all going to equal the same height going across. So you're going to have a long key pen here, a shorter key pen here, but going across it's all going to end up on the same height. Why that is useful is when you have a lock in its resting state like this, there are going to be the key pins in this area right here, which is called the plug. But inside of the plug, from the top, there are going to be also pins called driver pins, which are going to sit down, recessed, and it's going to prevent this from turning over because they're going to physically obstruct the lock. But when you insert the correct key, what it's going to do is it's going to lift all of the key pins up to a very flat, level, which is called the shear line, all the driver pins will be pushed up and out of the way. The lock will turn over and it will open right up. So now that we have a further understanding on that, what we're going to do is let's push the plug out of the lock and we're going to take a quick look at the key pins so we can see exactly what's going on. So now that we have the correct key, what we can see is we can see the shear line, which is going to be all of the pins very clearly flat going across. So this is what it looks like when you have the right key. It's going to push all those driver pins up and out of the way. When I withdraw the key and I push down all of the key pin chambers, you're going to see what it looks like in its resting state. So in its resting state, you're going to see how it's going to have room for pins to sit above the key pins. So what's going to happen is additional pins are going to be sitting down and they're going to be recessed in here. And that's precisely why the plug won't turn over because it's physically obstructing the lock. But when you put in the correct key, it's going to lift them all up flush. All of the pins on top are going to be out of the way and your lock will open up. If you had the wrong key, say something like that, you'll see how the key pins are not going to sit flush and you're not going to get an open. So one way I like to demonstrate this is I'm going to move the pinning tray out of the way. And what I want to do is just put the key down. And then I'm going to take the key pins out one at a time and I'm going to try to align them right on top of the key so you can get a better look. So I'm going to put key pin one right over where it matches up with the first slot. Then we're going to do key pin number two right over the second slot. Then we're going to do number three. And as you can tell, there's more material on the key where the third slot is, so that's why it's just going to be a shorter pen. Then we're going to do number four. We're just going to sit right next to that one. Then we're going to finish up with the last one, which is going to be number five, which is going to match up right over there. So this isn't the easiest thing to set up without the pens rolling around, but as you can tell, this is generally going to be what it looks like. But the really big take home message is you can see that we're going to have a flat line going across you can see the material of the key and what we're seeing is the material of the key plus the length of the key pen is all going to reach the same height going across. So we got the material, the key pen, shorter material, longer key pen, more material, shorter key pen, and so forth. And once you have the shear line reach, the correct key bidding, the correct key pens, it's going to lift those driver pens that sit above up and out of the way and you'll get your lock opened up. So just to further demonstrate this, I'm just going to draw a line going across roughly. It's a little bit higher up than where the pen sit, but let me see if I can just push this up a little bit so you can see it better. But either way guys, this is all that I have for you today. I just wanted to show you a really quick 
demonstration of what a key looks like and how it operates a pen and tumbler lock. This is something that is a very interesting topic. It might not be something you've thought of before, but it is something that I wanted to share with you. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.